Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is Dashcraft, and I'm finally back with another episode of this, which is version 13 tutorials. It's been a long time since I uploaded. I keep saying that every single one of my videos, but uh, seriously, I am going to try my best to upload consistently as much as I can. I know I have the best upload schedule, so you don't have to remind me, you know. <laughs> anyway, so today's video is going to be simply about the slash commands that you see almost everywhere now. Even Dank Mimir added it and even like huge bots. There, some of some bots are even removing the actual normal command that they had and they're integrating a slash commands instead. Which I'm not used to, but I guess we have to get used to it somehow. Anyways, the pros and cons always have their own place, but in today's video, make sure you have basic knowledge of this with JS, so you won't have any problems. Uh, if you don't know how to make a Discord bot, go ahead and watch my old videos, my old episodes basically. There's a playlist on my channel regarding this with version 13, so go ahead and check it out. And without further ado, let's actually get into this video and learn how we can make a slash comment. So before we continue, I want to get to right now, do something really quickly. Um, you need to go to your Discord server and kick the bot out of your server, all right? I know that kind of sounds harsh, but you have to do it in order for this slash command thing to work. You need to kick the bot out of your server. Doesn't matter, just kick it out of there. <clears throat> then go to Discord, the developer. Once you're there, um, you just have to go to your applications and look at the bot here. There we go. All right. So right here, make sure you have the intents both on on these sides. And we probably did this back in the old tutorials. But anyways, once you're here in the OAuth, you need to click on our URL generator. And once you're there, then you need to give it absolutely permissions. I'm going to give you right now. All right. The first one is application.commands. And once you do this, go ahead and copy this code. This is this is really important. And there's also a bot. So you need to click on the bot and application that command. This is what you're going to need in order to create the slash command. This is the one that we're going to need. Okay. Copy this right now. Paste it inside of your browser. And there we go. Now you need to click on proxy or whatever your server name is. Um, there we go. Authorize it. I'm a human. Uh, let's, let's do these, uh, airplanes. Wow. This is so tough, bro. Crazy. Uh, verify. There we go. All right, authorize. Now, if I go back to my server, I should be able to see my bot. However, though, I need to turn it on first. If I knew no dot, it should be on. Perfect. I'm going to also give it the owner just, just for uh, permissions. Then I, once I do this, I can just simply start creating the slash command. So the first thing I'm going to do is by just simply adding the slash command, which is by just doing client.guilds.cache.get. We're going to use this method because this is going to be good for one specific server only. Uh, copy the server ID and paste it instead of here. This I'm not going to do the tutorial that is like for every other server, but I will mention at the end of today's video. But for testing, it is recommended to use it for only one guild because it will automatically apply as soon as possible and it won't take time to authorize every single server and then add this slash command into that server. So for testing purposes, it's obviously the best idea is to use a specific server for adding the slash command. So then do dot commands dot create. So once you do this, go ahead and do that. And then there we go, hit enter. Now put a name instead of here. We're gonna name this ping, do this. Then you need to click a new one in this description. There we go. Um. LMAO. I don't know what to put, honestly. Anyways, once we do this, uh, we are done. You can just do no dot again here and bot us online. You see that? Everything works. Make sure this is all seen the ready event. Don't forget about that. Then what we need to do is just basically go to the general, whatever you have. I am just going to go to verf. Honestly, I don't even know what to go. I think that should be good. Uh, let's go ahead and do slash. And there we go. Test bot 101 ping. There's two because I already registered one back when I started testing this. Um, but the one we talked about having the LMAO description, which is here. There we go. Now, if I press this right now, it's gonna not work. All right. It's not gonna work because we haven't got an event for this. So once it caches this, it's gonna run a specific command, right? We haven't had an event yet. So in order for us to do that, we need to go back inside of the documentation real quick. So instead of the discord.js, we just can go here. There we go. Documentation and search. Interaction create is the event we're looking for. So that is an event which is 
used for, there we go, interaction create. That is a new event that got added into Disco.js. Um, not this, there we go, this one. And it emits when an interaction is created, which are interactions supposed to be the slash command. So we're just gonna go ahead and add a new event. We're gonna do client.on um, inter, oops, interaction create. There we go. Then once we're here, we have to pass a few things out. I'm, I'm not sure if we should actually. Uh, not really, we just can do async interaction. Then we need to put an arrow key right here. And there we go, we got it. You're not supposed to put async, but uh, it is good when you're using await. Like I said, if you wanna know more about await, just go and research it yourself, but it doesn't really matter in this case. You can always put, I just put it for on my own, like in case if I use await, I don't have to be worried about the async. Anyway, so once we have the interaction create event, then we need to catch this, right? So what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna say if uh, interaction, dot command name is equal equal to ping if I'm not wrong there we go then go ahead and do this interaction the reply uh, we're gonna reply something really basic content is um uh, uh I don't know okay I don't know what it doesn't matter uh, then once you do this, you can just do E. Uh, I'm not gonna mention that yet, but there is an option instead of the interaction or reply, which can only make it visible to you when you use the interaction. So let me show an example real quick. Let me just go ahead and run this real quick. And once I run this, I just have to run ping again. Let's see if that works. There we go, it worked. But here's a problem though. When I run this as slash command, it's gonna be showing it's gonna be short to everyone basically which is a good thing i guess for some but when you want to use a specific uh slash command that is only visible to the person who's using the command then you need to pass an option instead of the interaction to reply and that is called efer sorry uh it's not efer efer mirror i think then we're gonna say true I think so. I'm, I think it is right. I, I, I just hope I didn't mess up the spelling here. Uh, let's do O ping. There we go. And there we go. As you can see, now this command is only visible to me. Nobody else. All right. This one was visible because I hadn't had the ephemeral. Ephem, ephem, ephemeral. There we go. Ephemeral option here. But if I have the ephemeral option, it's going to only show to the person who is using the command. Now we're basically done. But what if you want to add like multiple options for the command we're using instead of the slash command well we use arguments for the message ones as you can see we had a whole argument system but slash commands kind of make it easier by already doing the argument system for us we just have to go ahead and do uh whatever we had instead of a instead of the ready event uh for the slash command we can keep the everything the same i just want to show you an example of the options we can do options then the options will basically have a name, right? So we're gonna do, well, if you want to put multiple options, I recommend putting this first. Then we're gonna do this, then we're gonna do this basically. Um, then what we're gonna do is basically say name. Uh, the name, the first name of the option is, uh, I don't know, like dashi, I don't know. Then let's go ahead and do description. Description, um, put a dashi here. Then we're gonna go ahead and say whether this is required or not. I'm gonna say it is required to put that. You can make it not required, but let's do required true. Then once we say it's true, then we're gonna also say what type of uh, this option, what type it is. So we're gonna do type is, so we mentioned it's discord. So we're gonna do discord.constants.application. I think it's this one application command option types yes it is the right one then we can just do dot and we have multiple things here i am just gonna go ahead and use um we can do a channel we can do a role we can do a number we can we can do so many things i honestly i don't know what to pick um i'll probably just go for a string value you can put a number doesn't really matter but you can just put anything you want um so once we have this uh we can just simply add another option just have to go ahead and make a new bracket here we're gonna say name again i'm gonna call the name washi this time dashi washi get the joke uh let's go description uh is equal to 
put a washi here then let's go ahead and do let's do required yes sure why not again let's do true then let me just make this one an integer because why not so let's go do and do not, not like a number maybe uh type is a discord dot const sorry constants dot application there we go let's do number there we go oh i know what's the problem so i forgot to mention that you cannot put an actual like capital instead of the options we can just do cap and like small d and small w for this in case in this case don't put a capital it's not gonna work uh no dot perfect let me just go here and do ping and you can already see the options here the dashi and the washi so let me just go ahead and do ping uh, let's do this there we go the first option is gonna be dashi right so we're just gonna go ahead and it says to put a dashi here um i don't know let me just put lmao then hit tab again the next value is the washi so the next value was supposed to be a number number one let's hit enter it's gonna say okay you can use the options to get a different response and uh, let me show you how to do that real quick it is really quite simple just gonna make a constant um a s one which is answer one uh actually let me just do dashi i guess dashi is equal to options actually since we have interactions we're gonna do interaction dot options dot the first one is a string so get string on uh, the string we're gonna get and uh, that is basically it let's go ahead and do the next one which is a number we're gonna do washi get number so once we do this we can just go ahead and integrate it so we just have to do this type of thing and this type of thing uh we are gonna it's like a back tick i think if i'm not wrong let's do dollar sign and the bracket to bracket thing like that let's go ahead and do dashi okay you said this and washi which is we're gonna do the same thing here and then we're gonna do washi one thing i forgot in here was basically putting the uh string for the name dashi i forgot to put this for every single one of these so the next one is washi there we go so dashi is dashi washi is washi so we're gonna do ping uh dashi is lmao then the next argument is washi i'm gonna put a number of five and you said lmao and five see it was pretty simple and straightforward you can actually make this work with the kick command but i'm not gonna go straight into it it's gonna be a little bit different you're gonna use interaction instead of using message in order to get the member id and other things but that's just a different story all right we're probably gonna learn more about interactions once i go further in tutorials like episode six probably or seven but um yeah i think the next tutorial is gonna be based on about how we're gonna make a command howler to fix this mess you see how messy this is i don't like it we can make separate folders and in every single one of the folders we can have the commands the events separated so well, everything will be organized Anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you guys liked today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and go ahead and join to your Discord server if you have any questions. In case this doesn't work as well for you, if this case you had any errors or problems, comment them down below. I will answer them. I will try my best to help you. And you can also join the server, which we have support team over there. And it can then just help you as soon as possible. We're pretty chill people. Um, we're not going to bully you. And yeah. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching today's video. This is Dashcraft and I am out.